back trucks with the love well, yeah, I ain't gotta brag. No, Glass shows, they trash show, that's facts though. See, y'all spit, they rap so, that's that, bro. I'm about my lyrics, you shout with gibberish, I'm not gonna hear it. Real talk though, I'm not gonna pick it. Right, yeah, we got, we, we, we with another one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sparring sessions, you know what I'm saying, with your boy Cadillac Grade and KG. I am Cadillac Grade, 130 Supreme Beast Boxing Salt, so, you know what I'm saying? I got the homie KG on the phone. You on the phone, right, KG? Yeah, what's up with you, man? All right, all right. Uh, so I guess we can go ahead and get into it. You ain't got no more bullshit from last week with you, do you? Nah, man, that's not my system, man. Okay, okay, okay thank God. God. Okay, so now we can get the regularly scheduled programming, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, they, they used all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying, last week and shit. Okay, uh, we was going to rap about uh, the little guys. It short, short been walking around here all in my ear talking about nobody give a fuck about the little guys. But, you know... We, we, we fuck with boxing, so, you know, we, we do a little bit. Um, <clears throat> so, I like so, them all the guys, they man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I like them, too. I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Well, not all the time, but some of them, you know what I'm saying? Some of them do got that, got that, uh, got the business with them. All right, so, so let's, let's get into it. Uh, 126 and 130. We're going to put both of them together because you could weigh 130 and go down to 136 if you take a shit. So... So let's just, uh, you know what I'm saying, let's get right, let's get right into it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, All right, look. Huh? I, 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 I know I talked about my boy, you know what I'm saying, because we was talking about moving up and every damn thing, but at 126, 130, I got a damn ride with my boy Gary Russell. Okay, okay, okay. So you say, you say Gary Russell. So, so you know they got uh, Miguel Pachel. They got, yeah. uh, we got Leo Santa Cruz. We yeah. got uh, Jojo Seawall. I mean, I mean, Jojo Diaz. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, we got Josh Warrington, and we got Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Okay, so <clears throat> straight up and down, I'm gonna say, of course, I'm rocking with, with, with Mr. Gary, but I'm gonna give I I'll go against you since you pick since you picked Gary Russell first. I think Shakur Stevenson could hold his own against all these guys. Oh 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 oh, and we got you know what I'm saying we got the motherfucking man. He just lost his belt, but I'm going to put him in the, in the race, too. My motherfucking man, uh, Tevin Farmer. You know what I'm saying? Do you know about Tevin Farmer? Uh -huh. He got his own theme yeah, song. Yeah. You, you know Te Tevin Farmer got his theme song. But he, but he going up to 35, right? N nah, he better not. He better go get... He, I ain't supposed to be rematching. He was going to 30, right? No, he at 30. No, he at 30. He just lost his belt to Jojo uh, uh, Diaz. Yeah, Jojo Diaz. Yeah, so, so he's trying to do the rematch. But you know he got his theme song, right? No. You don't know about Tevin Farmer theme song? Hit it! Who's looking over there when you're really looking <laughs> over there? Tevin! You know what I'm saying? You damn right. You know what I'm saying? I'm only talking about Tevin. I know you can dig it. I know you can dig it. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> so, uh... Hey, that, that, that same Tevin can't show up against JoJo because he... Like I remember uh, we were talking about Tevin before. I said he gets so caught up in fantasy in his defense. Yeah. That, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. That's what he, and he just didn't look like himself that night anyway. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he get it together for the next fight though. I think, I think, uh, yeah. but I think, I think back to where we was going at. I think Shakur Stevenson got enough skill. He got a bigger ceiling to handle all these guys in the picture. From what I sent you. Yeah, that huge ceiling. But yeah, I don't think yeah. He got enough power in his hand to keep some of these guys off of him. You don't think he got the power? Come on, man. I, so. I, I seen the dude just put on a boxing clinic against somebody he didn't want to knock out that he could have knocked out easy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, and, and, and all these right people... Now, it kind of cancels you out. All these people in the You're picture... He didn't want to kill. How you not want to kill somebody? Because that was his brother-in-law. Huh? It was his brother-in-law. It was his little brother-in-law. Hey, hey. We can chop it up after it, man. All right, man. Look, man. Okay. Does. Okay. We can watch the UFC fights after us and every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? But right now... We got work to do. All right, so that's the beautiful yeah. thing about it. He got a fight. His fight is uh this Saturday. So we, we'll we really be, you know what I'm saying, we'll really get to see where he at versus where Gary Russell was at uh mm -hmm. in the last event. Because Gary Russell did look like he had a little bit of problem. The dude he fought was magnificent. Mm -hmm. And I think he, he deserves some credit as well. But <clears throat> but I don't know. I think Shakur, Shakur got it. In my personal opinion, I think he could go, go ahead and get loose on all these dudes, man. 
know what I'm saying? On all these I'm just, saying, I'm just saying Gary Russell because he's been at that weight for so long. He's used to taking whatever punches is coming his way. So, you know what I'm saying? Just speed alone is going to have his own. So, he'll be able to hold his own. Now, like I said, his face is built for them 126, 130 pound guys hitting him. So, yeah. of course, Stevens, I, I, don't, I don't think he got enough stuff in his head in his ass to keep him off him if they got into it. Especially I'm, with the exchanges. Okay, okay, so so when would they be fighting? They'll be fighting like like this in twenty twenty? Is it this fight twenty twenty? I think that Russell gonna beat his ass that fucking I can't even man, fuck that bullshit. Yeah, you're not gonna catch me on camera saying no bullshit. That they fought like twenty twenty two, you know what I'm saying? Middle of twenty twenty one, I think it'd be a good fight. But if they fought this year, Man, Mr. Gary Russell will tag that ass up, man. I can't even, you know what I'm saying? This is just about you saying. You're right. He's right. He got me. He's right. He picked first. So, so, so he picked first and he got me. Up and coming. He just ain't ready, ready yet. No, he, he ready now. Because he'll whip everybody but else's you, ass. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Said, then, Gary Russell put the on him. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm saying. Okay, okay. But that's what I'm saying, though. Everybody else in the picture, he whipping their ass. Easy. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Gary Russell's gonna be a dog fight. I'm not saying he got he got enough dog in him to win the fight, but it's gonna be the the fight of his life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For real. And I think it might be too young for him to, to get into that. But I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's me. You know what I'm saying? But so so we could. What the fuck is this with door, man? Come on, man. All right, man. So uh, so uh, so uh, did you see the fight last night? Well, did you see the fight, the the, the uh, Kawanaki fight? Man, I was on the road. Oh, so you didn't see? When I got in, it was up, but when I got in, I pulled it up and I see the dude and I see the Kawanaki and I was just like, okay, let me see what he did. And next thing you know, I see old, old boy catch him. He hit up, then punch his ass, hit the ground. And then he got back up. I said, he might be all right, but he got back up, the legs. I said, he still ain't there. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. it is, like I said, being a boxer, it's going to get you so far when you're dealing with somebody with power. You know what I'm saying? But I'm always on side with the boxer. But I, I wasn't always sold on Kyle Naki anyway. What? What? Because I, I said, if he, if he, I said cause if he got in there with somebody that was going to his ass, that little, he, he, he's too pushy, man. Okay, so. You put, him, put, him, put, him, put him beside Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is fat as hell, but he ain't fluffy like that. This dude is pushy. If somebody started putting hands on him, I, I saw him getting hurt somewhere down the line anyway. Okay, okay, so 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 let me ask you this. The the person that he lost to, the Nordic Nightmare, how you feel about him then? I don't even know what the fuck he is. Okay, so that answers that one. So that's how I feel the same damn way. Now now, I can't lie to you, he do got he got some notable losses on his record. You know what I'm saying? But now he got a big win. He he got a loss, he got a, a unanimous decision. To Dillian White, and he got dropped by uh, by Jared Washington. Do KG know about the gatekeeper? Yeah, Jared Washington, the gatekeeper. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know Jared Washington, the gatekeeper, right? At the heavyweight division. Mm -hmm. So, so, so Kyle Naki beat him. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, so, so I mean, but he just lost to <laughs> he he beat the gatekeeper, but he lost to who didn't get in the gate. Ship drop. <laughs> Yeah, he lost to the ship driver. You know what I'm saying? He hit the ground, man. His body laid flat, man. Like, like all the fat just curved and just seeped into the crevices of the damn back, man. Okay, so... I'm like, too fluffy. So, so, okay. So, uh, let me, let's, let's talk about this real quick. Who's the best B-class fighter? Like, the next B-class either coming up or coming down. The next B-class fighter that you would say you think is nice in the heavyweight division then? You ain't got one? I, 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 I like, uh, what's the Nigerian boy name? You like F.A. Jagba? Yeah. Okay. I, I think he, you know what I'm saying, him still being fresh, he needs to damn take those damn uh, knee-knocking damn shots that he damn caught in that man one fight. Didn't he go down? Yeah, yeah, he did, he did. Yeah, he, he, did. he needs that right now. Because I think damn, that better put him in perspective not to damn go to damn Wilder route because I think he could have been another Wilder in a sense. But I think him going down early, I think that might shake him up to them. You know, be a better fighter going down and moving forward. Okay. I like the, uh, and, and I shouldn't be saying this shit. Man, I like the boy from the UK, man. Daniel Dubois. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then you do boy, man. That boy nice, man. That boy got some skill, man. I can't even lie. But he don't. I haven't seen him face adversity yet. That's the only thing they worry about. Me. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, yeah, like I, 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 I ain't seen that adversity. So, so I don't know. If they got knocked down by some, knocked down by somebody, he shouldn't even get got knocked down by. After the dude just did the stanky leg. You know what I'm saying? He did the stanky leg it up. I, he got, if they hit him. And he backed up and said, Sabo! He grabbed his motherfucking ankle and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it came back. It did drop him. So, so that kind of had me worried. But I think he learned from that, though. I do think he learned from that. Uh, uh, coming up after that, they got a fighter. Let me ask you if you know about him. Uh, hopefully I could get him put on the other joint. Uh, Marlon So Icy Sims. You heard him? Uh, he got a fight coming up on uh, on Showtime, man. I think that's going. I'll check him out this uh, this week. Yeah, man. I think I think yeah, he he uh, he definitely worth it. You know what I'm saying? Worth to check out. Hopefully they put him on uh, on the Showbox joint, and we can see we can see what it looked like. Seven and zero. You know what I'm saying? Four KO. Uh, doing big things, man. Doing big things. So we'll we'll see how that turned out. Hopefully it's something good for him. You know what I'm saying? Because they was acting like they was trying to play him. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't gonna put him on our bank. But yeah, I, I didn't know if you knew about him. Uh, keep your eyes on him. Nah, ain't yet. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I've been grinding so damn much at work, man, that my hand ain't been to the streets like it needs to be. So I gotta get back to it. So I uh, pick up back up all these names that nobody really even knew of before, like mm -hmm. I used to. So. Yeah. Okay, okay. You, when, you, we, when, we, when, we, when we end this, you know what I'm saying? You send me all the information. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, okay. You, who you got, uh. My next joint. You got something else that you wanted to talk about before we uh before we bust a move? What happened? I said you got something else that you want on the docket that you want to address? Cause I know you you we hollered at you hollered at me brief, briefly about it. You know what I'm saying? About the uh the Callum Smith shit. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Um, I still haven't opened the audible okay. yet, but you know what I'm saying. You pretty much then was saying that he um Canelo pretty much didn't want him anyway. It was just damn all fluff to them say, uh, uh, call him as them in consideration for them to, to, to fight. But in actuality, he's saying he was, he was never even consideration. It was always about Billy Hill. So. Yeah, yeah, man, I told you, man, I think Billy Hill is the, is the, uh, the softest champ out of all those in that division. That's why I think he's going after him. He plucking them off, man. If you got a belt and you weak, you might as well not even go for the belt. You know what I'm saying? If you got one, you might as well try to hurry up and lose because Canelo coming for that ass. His motherfuckers like Jason. Uh -huh. For all the weak ones. <laughs> I'm going to say this now. Since they, that fight is there in Eston Stone, and the Mickey ain't interested, I'm going to go ahead and ride with Billy Ho. Because I think Billy going to make it interesting. Man, that's some bullshit. Like, I don't know if I can pick Clem Buterall. You know what I'm saying? All right, fuck all it. Right. All right, all right, all right. You made me pick. <laughs> I got to ride with Clem Buterall. You pick drugs all the time. Drugs all the time. All right, you know what? I draw my line at Clem Buterall. <laughs> Tyson Fury can do as much coke as he want off of ass cracks. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I had to draw the line at the Ken Hold on. D David Benavidez, it's a party drug. It's cool, man. He's young. He'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but now it comes to this, uh, you draw the line at that. Okay, so I pick horse meat. I pick horse meat. Oh, I pick, uh, uh, what's the, it's called bull sausage. Uh, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, bull penis? Yeah, but what's the name? You had it. We'll find that out for the next show. Her I got name. you. I had that for you next time. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, uh, so that that that's the word. I mean, we get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because I still we still got to get ready to do the joint. You know what I'm saying? I gotta change the shit. You know what I'm saying? We coming off of practice and shit. So uh, so right, right. that's the word, man. Uh, uh, you got something for the people? You want to tell the people how they can follow you? Man, you know what I'm saying? Like every week, I say the same thing. Follow your boy on IG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, tell them. You know what I'm um, saying? They, Cat like Red, you know what I'm saying? One third of Supreme Beast Boxing Talk. Uh, it's been another good one. We'll, we'll definitely chop it up uh, later on in the week and figure out what it's gonna be like for the uh, on the docket next week. Uh, salute Check to the mighty LDBC. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, it's been a good one. Okay, I'm gonna holler at you in a little bit.